Hi, welcome back to my channel. It's Cheryl here today. As I promised, I wanted to show you what I've done so far on my patio. So we're going to start right out here. I got some succulents here. Excuse the noise, they're cutting down trees. Here I have a variegated ivy that I'm going in the pot. And under here, I got a collection of hostas that I planted. And then over here we have a cactus. You can see how my um, sedums are coming up and my irises. And this is a girl I painted a while back. So we'll start over here. I've got um, this, let's see, what is it? I took the tag out. I think it's a vinca. And over here in these pots I have hens and chicks. And that's a dahlia that's going to bloom. And here we just put, um, instead of putting petunias this year, we put portulacas. This is another succulent pot I put together. And then here we got petunias and bacopa. Uh, red and a, a blush color on both sides of the patio and that's one of our cactuses up here I got lemon thyme variegated and they're pretty and I painted this pot it was an interesting project I like how it turned out and so over here is just a couple of uh you know, we have a lot of Japanese maples, and these are two seedlings. And that's just a, um, a house plant and a, a succulent back there. Down here, I have um, hostas. And then in some of these pots, I have some bulbs that I just set over there. I got Dutch irises. Hopefully, they will come up. Some more hostas. And then I got a geranium that we kept alive from last year. Then we got a couple of these uh, succulents. And then look at the, uh, um, I guess you would call them alliums. Yeah, alliums. They're starting to bloom. And this is uh, going to be a trumpet vine so we can get more hummingbirds. We got feeders out already. We have two males that have arrived already. You know, I had showed you these hostas before. And this is our cactus collection. And they're doing well. In my fountain, it's kind of dark over this way. But then there, look at the miniature Japanese maple. Isn't that pretty? And look, these hostas come back every year in the pot. And they're getting bigger. I wanted to take some out and put elsewhere so we'll see maybe in the fall I'll transplant some more and then over here I have a mandela vine uh, hopefully I will be getting some more blooms it had blooms but they dropped but it uh, um, as it get warmer it should bloom and my hydrangeas are coming back I got some dead uh, blossoms from last year I need to cut out but they're getting up there they'll probably have blossoms on them in the next couple weeks over here is just um, a daylily I thought I had got all the hosta out but I see there's one still in there oops in here we planted a lantana in this big pot so hopefully it'll spread out and get big and look down there y'all that's a real cactus it's a I am a hanging cactus. I don't know the name, but it's a monster. We keep all our cactuses in the garage over the winter. And so this year, I thought I'd try to go with the bubblegum proven winners petunias. So far, they're doing well. I just don't like to be picking. And this one I had last year on my on one of my tables. It lasted longer than the other yellow petunias we had out here. And look. 
this is coming out nice. We planted um, portulacas or rose moss down here. So I'll be back to show you. And then these are sedums. I wanted to create like a tapestry. I did it once before and it was pretty. So when this is the portulacas spread out, I will be sure to show you. And then this um, clementis vine is starting to bloom. It's a pretty pink striped. You can see the big blossoms getting ready to burst open. And this is another one of my succulents, donkey tails, I believe that's what it's called. And another one of my fairies that I keep out here. Well, not all year we bring her in. And some more petunias in these two pots that match up with those two over there. And back again over here in the ground, I have this, I think it's called Lithoria. You can't really see it because of the sun, but it's a really pretty blue flower. I hope you can see that. And then these succulents here, um, or sedums I call them, they come back every year. So hopefully they'll spread out and cover this up. Then we see we got Teddy over here. So I'm gonna go down here and show you behind the patio. We got all these cone flowers and sedums and irises that are getting ready to bloom. I know this one right here, I can't see it, but it's getting ready to bloom and it's purple. But see, all the cone flowers are getting ready to come up. We got some over here, and if I don't know if you remember, I did a video on how to plant irises, and I got a couple people gave me thumbs down, but look, they did just fine. You don't have to be all delicate with some of these plants; they will survive if they're meant to. So I know it looks like a mess, but. I got some weeds over there, but shortly I'll have this full with yellow cone flowers. And over here, I got tons of more cone flowers. And then that's that um, spirea bush that should be blooming pink shortly. And more irises. I tell you, these irises are hard to get out. So we're coming back around. But yeah, guys, this is how my patio's decorated for the spring so far, and I'll come back and few weeks to show you what else is blooming so I hope you like this video if you do tell me what you like the best as far as my plants or or, or, or ornaments and I will see you on the next one bye bye